good morning you guys so i'm currently at the gym and i am pushing myself to do this workout because i'm getting my period in like three days and so i'm just feeling like shit to be honest and i know that on my period i am not going to be able to work out for like a week so i'm like i have to just push myself to get this workout in i don't know if i said anything but i am getting an iud for my very extremely painful periods so that'll just hopefully stop my period so that i don't have to deal with them anymore because it's just absolutely horrible and i was seeing a gynecologist and she recommended that that's like the best option i got recommended that by a lot of doctors so yeah we're getting an iud next week already i'm really scared to be honest but i'm just trying to not think about it because it's kind of some really freaking scary to me so anyways this is hopefully the last period that i'll have to deal with hopefully for a while but anyways with that being said we are going to drink our matcha shot to give us some energy I'm pretty sure it's actually supposed to be quite a nice day today. I heard somebody in the elevator. She was like, oh, it's supposed to go up to 25 today. Oh my God, Wednesday's supposed to be 27 and then it's supposed to rain the whole week. That doesn't make sense. It's literally like 27 degrees Celsius and then rain, 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 rain. At least today's going to be nice though. Okay, let's go hit this workout now that we got some energy and we got this. I got this. I can do this. And hopefully this will also help my period because apparently working out can help. I don't know how true that is, but... Hopefully this helps in some way because apparently like boosts your testosterone and apparently that helps like conquer the estrogen. So there's, I don't know, something along those lines. Anyways, let's go. Work out. Starbucks because my car is getting serviced right now and so I dropped it off and it's gonna be probably a couple hours so I brought like my laptop and everything so I can do some work and edit so I can be productive while I wait so I just got myself a little coffee and we're just gonna chill and edit I forgot to bring all of my chargers though like I don't know why I was thinking so it's a Walmart here so I might just go and browse around in there just to see if there's any like home pieces that I like but Anyways, it's kind of warm outside, so I decided to wear shorts for the first time in like probably like seven, eight months. My hair's so greasy, so I just put it back in a little half ponytail. And yeah, this is my favorite hairstyle to do when my hair's greasy because you can't even tell. You have to add like gel anyway, so it doesn't matter. Anyways, let's go work and be a little bit productive, drink my coffee, and yeah. Okay, so it's currently four o'clock and I've been waiting for my car since like one o'clock. I'm in my mom's car right now because it's actually getting done in my mom's, the dealership that she works at. So I'm just in her car right now because I went to Starbucks and then for some reason my hard drive wasn't plugging into my adapter. It's like wasn't working and it was really annoying but anyways i got some other stuff done that i needed to do so at least i got to do some work and then i can't kind of ran out of work to do that wasn't on my hard drive so then i went to walmart to kill time and i have a little haul for you guys just like a couple of things so these are cutie little tank tops like look at them there's a gray one and there's a white one and they're from the kids girl section they're literally size 10 in kids like they're so tiny but they they're my size like they're pretty much like an extra small in like women like when you open them up so yeah i got these and i don't know these would just be cute tank tops to throw around like to sleep in or whatever and they were only nine dollars for two so i was like that's so cute then i got this really freaking cute pajama set i don't know if you guys can tell but there's cherries on it how adorable and then it comes with a matching pair of shorts there's like a really expensive dupe for this i think on revolve not a dupe sorry because it's like so expensive but it kind of looks like this and it's like a 300 dollars pajama set so i was like you know what this was like 14 dollars. so cute and i make pajamas a lot because i work from home so when i'm editing i like to wear like comfy stuff and sometimes i keep my pajamas on so it's really nice when i can look cute you know what i mean so i got that and then super random but i just got these beige shorts and i just like to sleep in tight shorts i don't know what it is but 
when I go to sleep, I always look for tight like booty shorts to put on just because I just feel the most comfortable in them and I don't know they help me sleep for some reason and I prefer like tight shorts over loose shorts to go to sleep I don't know why like I have no idea it just feels so comfortable to me but so I got some shorts that I want to wear to bed and these are also good to wear under like a dress or something and I'm always like reaching for these so I just decided to get a pair and they came in a two pack so these are perfect then I got these chips because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Hopefully they finish my car soon. My mom said I got delayed again, so. At least I have my mom's car to sit up. I was also doing some home decor shopping in Walmart, just seeing what they had. Because right now I'm looking for a gold mirror. The original mirror that I had, I loved the one that broke. I loved it. But now I'm thinking to switch it up a little bit and maybe have like a statement piece. Like a gold cutie really gorgeous mirror instead of just having like a basic plain mirror that I originally had because my like the color palette of our apartment is super neutral it's like black beige white um just like really warm tone so I'm thinking if I get a really like cute um gorgeous gold mirror it'll tie things together kind of like a statement piece I'll show you a photo of what a mirror I found on Facebook. It's already, it got sold, but something like this. You might think that this is ugly or crazy, but I, I don't know. I just kind of want a huge statement piece like this now. It's just the matter of finding like the right one. So this is the mirror that I really liked that was on Facebook. But yeah, it's already sold and I think this one might be a tiny bit too big for our space, but something like that. I don't know. What do you, let me know what you guys think about that. And also the mirrors that I like, the gold mirrors that I liked at Ikea are sold out because everything right now at Ikea for some reason in my area, like there's two Ikeas in my area. Everything is sold out that I want there. The mirror, the night tables, the bed frame, like they just have just no stock right now. It's actually crazy. So anyways, in Walmart, I just saw these nightstands because I was just gonna get like the basic whites nice stands from ikea that are like 60 bucks and they're sold out of course <laughs> so i saw these at walmart and it's kind of different than the white but let me know what you guys think so i can always go back but those were the nightstands and i kind of like the wood tone i don't know but i just don't know if i prefer the white ones from ikea i don't know I don't know it just makes everything hard that like literally everything there is sold out and it's really annoying it's just i don't know i just am so i'm not over it but i just want to be done like i just want a room done i just want everything to be finished but yeah i don't know about those nightstands because if i'm gonna get them i should get them now just because i'm not really in the area of my house right now so i don't really want to come back i don't know i just i'm very indecisive too but if everything was in stock at ikea i'd just do it there because it's easy oh Oh. Hello, you guys. Oh my goodness. So much has happened. Actually, not so much has happened this morning. It was very anticlimactic because we were about to go pick up a bed frame this morning and we once again got screwed over from facebook marketplace this is literally like the fourth time this has happened this week i'm not kidding you i told you guys one of the stories in my last vlog but this has happened four times this week like i am so frustrated with facebook marketplace i can't even handle it i just want a freaking bed frame and i just want to finish i know i'm sound like a broken record saying this but it's just like i'm trying i am trying to finish my bedroom and it's i haven't even started on it because everything that i've been trying to buy has just not we can't even get it brand new yeah we yeah exactly like i would go to i can buy everything brand new but like i told you guys everything is out of stock so can't do that and on facebook everybody's being so stupid and rude and it's just not been a vibe so anyways i was in a actually i got in like a mood i'm not first of all it's the, like the second day of my period i'm not feeling too hot She's in a mood. I, I was in a mood. Not anymore, but I was in a mood because... Not a good one. Yeah. When the bed frame didn't work out once again, like I was so excited. We were about to leave the house and then it didn't work out. Like they texted me and they're like, oh, it already got sold when I literally was about to leave the freaking house and it was 20, we were 20 minutes away. Anyways, not going to talk about it. <laughs> I was in a mood and Joel came home after his haircut and he's like, you know what? We're going to turn this day around and we're going to go and 
shop and just see what there is. So right now, basically, we're... I'm gonna have to spend a lot of money to make her mood happy. <laughs> That's basically what's. <laughs> That's the not true. He's like, you want to go buy those nightstands that you really like that are two hundred dollars? I'm like, yes, <laughs> but I'm kidding. We're not actually going to. I offered. She said no. Well, I I don't like. I'm not two hundred dollars on a nightstand that I mean I do really like it, but it's. But a as soon as I said it, expensive. immediately your face lit up. <laughs> He's laying in bed almost crying, and then I'm like, okay, I'll buy you those nightstands, and then all of a sudden she got happy. It's like when you when you brought home some more suits for me yesterday. Yesterday I got my period and it was just a bad, bad, bad day as you guys know um, how that ends up turning out. And so I just was still in the mood today and then that just tipped it off and it wasn't a good morning, but it's okay. Joel is helping me turn this day around and I'm in a better mood and we're just gonna go shopping. I think I'm gonna go buy a new camera today, which is really exciting. Um, we'll see though if it actually fall, falls through. I'm not gonna get my hopes up because who knows what can happen with Facebook Marketplace because I have not been having good experiences this week. But anyways, we're just about to go into HomeSense and see what they have quickly and then, yeah, I'm just gonna vlog today. And hopefully I end up getting the new camera, so we'll see. We are in HomeSense and they stocked up on their mirrors. So there's this one. I like it, but it makes you look so skinny. Like I think it has like some warping thing on it, it where- It looks really tall. Yeah, it makes you look really tall and skinny. It's like one of those mirrors. And then there's also this one, which I kind of like, cause we wanted, I just we decided- I just don't look skinny. Yeah, it does. Like look, see, see me in this mirror versus this mirror. I don't know if, okay, you can't really tell through the camera, but so I really like the frame on this one. If it was gold, it would be a no brainer, but I don't know what I think about the color, the size and the frame is really pretty, but I don't know how, don't if I'm too color. fond on the color. But like, I do really like the shape and everything of this one's perfect, like there's no distortion in the mirror. And then there's also this one, which has like a rounded top, which is really cute. Um, but this one's $300, so it's kind of a bit much. I don't like it. And Joel doesn't like it, so. Okay, you guys, I'm on the new camera. The I need to like mess with the settings and everything. But I think like, I'm sorry, I'm staring in the viewfinder because I'm just like trying to figure it out. But I'm so excited. I think this is like lagging a bit because I probably need to change like the frame of speed or whatever that thing is called. But the guy that we bought it from was so nice. And there's a little story. So I was supposed to buy this camera and then sell my M50 because obviously like I don't need two cameras now. So I found this guy on Facebook and he messaged me because I put the camera up and he messaged me. He's like, oh, can you ship it to me? And I was like, sure, because that sometimes happens on Facebook marketplaces. People will ask to, if you could ship something. So it's like, okay, of course. Um, obviously I'm not gonna be dumb. I'm not gonna send the item before he sends the money or anything stupid like that. But, <laughs> so we get there and he's like, send me a photo of the camera and you at the postal office. So I sent a photo of the camera in front of the Canada Post sign and then I was like, okay, I'm just waiting on the money now before I send it, like the e-transfer. And so it took him like five minutes, then I get an email. And I open the email and it's a fake e-transfer. Like you don't think I'm, like I'm not stupid. I know what a real and a fake e-transfer looks like. I'm not dumb. And then I text him and I'm like, thanks for wasting my time. And he's like, um, you're welcome, it was my pleasure. That's what he says. He says, you're welcome, it was my pleasure. He just outright tried to scam me. Like, people are, ah! Like, I actually can't, the amount of people I've been screwed over on Facebook Marketplace just this past week has, it's insane and it's disgusting. And it just like actually kind of makes me sad that there's people out there that have nothing better to do with their lives but scam people. Like, can't you go out and find yourself a job instead of trying to take other people's money? It's just like, so sad honestly it's actually sick it is actually sick it's sick and it's sad and i just honestly at the end of the day i do feel bad for these people because it's like what if you like what if you need it like you know what i mean what if you the money in your account you need to feed your family yeah and then you just take it like that is so it's just so sad and it's so bad but anyways, I haven't had been having good experiences with Facebook Marketplace, honestly. Like, I just can't believe he said, my pleasure tries to scam me. Like, I'm not stupid. Like, I thought that maybe you were actually genuinely wanting me to ship you the camera because that does happen sometimes. Ugh, I just, I just can't.
So I'm currently on filming on the Canon M6 Mark II and this is the new camera. So this is my old camera. This is the Canon M50. So I really just wanted to upgrade because this is a newer camera and this is my job and I saw a couple of YouTubers who use this exact camera and they love it so much in their videos like you just see the quality and you're like damn that's good so that's how I want my videos to come across and hopefully you guys notice a difference in quality once I figure out like the settings and everything because right now I still need to figure everything out so bear with me the difference between this camera a big difference that I really love just right off the bat is this one has like a flip up screen versus this one has a flip to the side so this one goes up just like the Canon G7X and I love that so much I love it way better than flipping to the side. This is honestly a great camera, don't get me wrong, the Canon M50. I am using the 11 to 22 millimeter lens that I was also using on this M50, so I just put the kit lens back on here, but I am using the 11 to 22 millimeter, which is a wider angle, so yeah, that's really what I like. I was debating getting the Sony ZV-1, but the problem with that is I know that it's super cropped and I prefer vlogging with a more wide angle. Yeah, and I also spend a lot of money on this wide angle lens, so I wanted to keep that with the next camera that I bought. So I think that this is like the perfect upgrade. I mean, I hope it is. And I'm just trying to sell this one right now because I'm not probably going to use it anymore and I don't need it. Just going to be sitting around. So, so yeah, that's my upgrade. I hope you guys notice a difference in quality and it's just fun getting a new camera because I haven't gotten a new camera in a while and experimenting with like what you like best and everything and technology is always evolving too so it's nice to kind of keep up with it. I mean I got it second hand, I got this camera second hand, I buy all my cameras second hand just because if they're in perfect condition you can get them at a really good discounted price honestly so it's worth it getting a camera second hand in my opinion. But yeah so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. The next couple of vlogs are probably going to be still filmed with this camera just because it's already filmed and everything Thing. but yeah look out for the better quality let me know if you guys see a difference already but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions just comment them down below and i will get back to you so bye <laughs>